Hey guys, Greg Amortis back with my little world of horrors. Uh, Blu-ray DVD update as I'm recording. It's November 22nd, 2013. I do want to apologize. It's been, you know, a month or so since I put up a new Blu-ray DVD update. Um, to be honest, I'm hosting Land of the Creeps podcast and the month of October just beat my ass because we was putting out multiple episodes. So I do apologize but I do have a freaking stack of movies and Blu-rays that I do want to mention that I've uh, picked up recently. So, you know, without further ado, let's jump right into this episode. And uh, thank you for everybody that has been subscribing. Uh, please do so below here. You can subscribe. Hit your thumbs up for the like if you like my episodes. Um, check out Land of the Creeks. we got some great stuff coming up. But I think, first of all, let's just jump right into this. Uh, I'm going to go kind of newer and then work my way back to some older I've got. But one of the newer uh, Blu-rays that I've got is none other than Screen Factory's release of the body bags. And uh, this is John Carpenter's and Toby Hooper. Great, great transfer on this Blu-ray fans. It's got the cool slip cover case. As you can see, the cool cover art here. And, of course, the slip case blown away man with the bonus features and the uh just everything about this flick it was originally a showtime uh release it was going to be a tv series but as john carpenter mentions because of money issues and everything it just never got you know released uh the cool back art here and uh john carpenter plays a coroner in this flick or a zombie coroner i guess you could say um, the movie itself is phenomenal. It's basically a uh, trilogy. There's three short stories that makes up body bags. Uh, special shout out to my buddy Justin Beam for you know making all this happen. But um, the three stories in it, you got the first one is a what I call kind of a throw. Well, it ain't a throwback when it was filmed, but a throwback now, but to the 80s kind of slasher feel. Uh, woman into a gas station and some shenanigans kind of takes place got multiple multiple cameos fans uh count each time you see one and you'll be blown away with uh robert carradine in it from aka uh revenge of the nerds you also got wes craven popping up and just multiple multiple stars in this one great flick the first one the second one in it is called uh the hair with the great Stacy Keach, who he just blew this one out of the water. Uh, and then the third one stars Mark Hamill. And uh, basically that one's about the eye, as it's called. Uh, the film looks phenomenal. It's a great movie, but also the bonus features are out of this world. There's interviews with uh, Stacy Keach, uh, John Carpenter. There's also, uh, I was looking in here, uh, Sandy Keene who is married to John Carpenter, also interviews uh, Justin Beam, just knocked this one out of the park. Scream Factory, phenomenal release. But that's my first one I wanted to show you this episode is Body Bags. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo collector's edition. Get your hands on this one, fans. I promise you, you will not uh, regret it. A uh, little side note, Land of the Creeps is going to be doing a full-length commentary, running commentary, uh, probably by the time... Uh, the next episode comes out in a week or so. You know, this commentary will be out, so check out landofthecreeps.blogspot.com and uh, subscribe to the iTunes or Stitcher channel to hear that, as we'll probably have Justin Beam on board with us to do a commentary of this film. So that's our first one. The next Screen Factory release I've gotten is the newly released Night of the Comet. And I'm going to get a good close up of the cover art of this one because I really enjoyed it as well. And uh, Nathan Thomas Milner just knocked it out of the park with this cover art. I mean, it's just really well done. Um, this one as well is a great flick. I will say the transfer is not as crisp as, say, body bags and that, but it still looks gorgeous. Got some cool interviews with the co-stars. I haven't listened to the audio commentary on this one yet, but I know it's going to be great. But anyways, the interviews are really good. The movie is awesome. Uh, this is definitely a must-own, once again, as Screen Factory always does, the slip cover cases. 
and something that uh, one of my subscribers had mentioned and I did not realize uh, don't know why but you know the cover art that you get inside the DVD or the Blu-rays there's also on the back side of these that's really cool because what they do is is you also get the original cover art on the flip side so if you don't like seeing the new cover art you can flip it over and get the original cover art so something I didn't really realize and thanks to uh, I cannot remember who it was but you know who you are uh, for you know throwing that out to me so check it out it's Night of the Comets just released uh, this week as a matter of fact so pick that up uh, you'll definitely enjoy that and on the same day I'm telling you Screen Factory is killing me but uh, the next one's a collector's edition and it's John Carpenter's Assault on Precinct 13 not real familiar with who the cover art of this one was but I thought this one is really 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 gorgeous this movie fans was done in 1976 you will not be able to tell that in this transfer beautiful shot and John Carpenter this has got some great interviews the commentary is really good but uh, you got interviews with Nancy Loomis Keys who if you don't know who she is fans she was Annie in the original Halloween uh, she was also in the fog along with Salt and Precinct 13 and she was just a mainstay with John Carpenter but uh, this film is just blew me away how great it is even today uh, once again slip cover case uh, the features on it is phenomenal this is definitely a must own I loved it the story plot is cool it's uh, basically a lieutenant uh, I'm guessing is new on the job gets sent to a prison uh, to kind of it's kind of a dead-end job because the prison is actually shutting down the following day so he's basically just sent there but there's these gang of hoodlums that are taking over and sweeping the Los Angeles area and due to an individual who kills one of the gang members they come after him and he's held up inside the prison uh, there's basically like four or five people in there so they have to these four or five people have to hold off a multitude of just you know hell-bent gang bangers and this this film's awesome I'm telling you I love it it's a must own it's assault on precinct 13 just released by screen factory get it I love it another one this was on my bucket list to get for screen factories blu-ray releases finally my movie stop got it I got it really really dirt cheap but it's one of my all-time favorite 80 slasher flicks and it is none other than the burning uh, the cover art looks really cool on this one too this was also the cover art done by Nathan Thomas Milner this is the blu-ray DVD combo pack as well and anybody that doesn't really know a lot about this story uh, basically the burning is about Cropsey who was a uh, it's basically at a camp like most of your 80 slasher flicks he was kind of the uh, caretaker kind of kind of guy uh, maybe a janitorial whatever you want to call him but these kids do a prank on him there's a fire Cropsey's burnt Cropsey comes back for revenge uh, just a really great film this one too also it has the uh, audio commentary by Tony Malum who is the uh, director and also the uh, says international journalist Alan Jones I just it, it was really good commentary the interviews and whatnot on the burning are really well done so once again Screen Factory knocked it out of the park with the uh, bonus features on this one and trying to give you some good close-ups of the back uh, this is a great go-to 80 slasher split for me it's definitely a 10 uh, on my rating scale I go to it multiple times in a year uh, just love it so check that one out as well and moving along now we're out of our screen factory releases uh, this was a newly released this year and we just done an episode on land of the creeps I believe it was episode 57 where we covered this movie and another one I'm fixing to show you on blu-ray but here's the cover art and it's none other than the conjuring and uh, to me this is one of the scariest films put out definitely in 2013 but in several years for me uh, the conjuring is the story about the Perron family uh, and you got the Warrens uh, Ed and Lorraine who 
uh, are real life investigators, paranormal investigators who went on, you know, they did the Amityville horror investigation and many other ones, but this was always Ed, uh, Ed's bucket list. This was the one, uh, investigation that always stuck out in his head and this film uh, directed by James Wan who done Sidious and Saul and uh, James done such a tremendous job this movie will scare the kajibas out of you uh, just love this flick and uh, the back of it as well uh, it is in the slipcase cover I will agree one of the scariest movies ever all the acting in this film is phenomenal and the jump scenes and the whole clap thing I mean it just got me uh, this one does have the blu-ray DVD and the digital uh, ultraviolet where you can uh, I'm not real big on all this stuff but you can take the movie and download it into your iPad or your uh, phone or laptop or whatever and carry it wherever you go anyways if you're into that kind of stuff it's really cool this is kind of the uh, as you can hear it, yeah, one of them cool little slip cover cases, but this is a must own fans for Greg and Mortis. Uh it's definitely I've seen it twice now at the theater and then on Blu ray and it scared the crap out of me both times I've watched it. Uh it was filmed, I'm from uh living in Wilmington, North Carolina now, and it was filmed in the Wilmington surrounding area, so that's kind of a cool thing too, but the conjuring man is a must own fans. Creepy ass flick, love it. Uh quickly moving on. It's uh, This is in Independent Film Channel. IFC released this one, and it's none other than Elijah Wood, a.k.a. Frodo. But uh, this one is the Maniac remake or re-imaging. Um, really good movie, man. I I've got to say I've heard mixed reviews on it. Uh, my review and my take, you need to listen to episode 57 of Land of Creeps and hear what we had to say about it. I can tell you I was blown away with it. It was not as good as the original by any means. Um, cannot touch Joey Spidale and that. And then, of course, the great makeup effects of Tom Savini. But at the same time, this film was a little bit different. This one, uh, without giving too much detail away, about 90% of this film is shot in a first person where you're looking behind the eyes of the killer so other than you know little pan shots where you'll see Elijah sitting in a mirror or standing in front of a mirror or there's a scene where he's in a bed with a lady and there's a mirror on top of the bed and you see it but most of this movie you're seeing through the eyes of Elijah Wood you're seeing through the eyes of a killer and I thought that was so unique I know it's been done before but I just don't think it's been done any better than what was done in this Maniac remake um, you can pick this Blu-ray up for under $15 and DVD for under 10 and it's a newly released film. I thought the acting was really well done. Um, I know I might get butchered by some of you fans and, you know, so be it, but I thought Elijah Wood done such a great job in this, coming away from the whole Lord of the Rings and all these different things to this. He just nailed this role and I really enjoyed it. It's called Maniac the remake and it's very graphic uh it's got a lot of nudity in it so i warn you if you're against that or whatever you will not want to watch this one but i just i really loved it. it's called maniac uh it just looks really good and i enjoyed the crap out of it so there you go uh this next one and i guess i'll grab this other one behind it too and put these out Greg and Mortis is not necessarily all about horror. 99% of the movies I watch is horror, but I also do get into some comedies and whatnot. These next two that I'm going to show you are just mainstays for me to watch during the holidays. It's Christmas time coming up, and I never owned this one on Blu-ray. I've had multiple copies of DVD of it, but it's none other than The Christmas Story with the story of Ralphie. And uh, I love it with the leg lamp and the whole nine yards. This is such a great film. Uh, Peter Billingsley, a.k.a. Ralphie, just nailed this character as a little kid. Uh, love this film. And I picked it up on Blu-ray because it was dirt cheap on uh, at Best Buy. I love it. I had to have it because Blu-rays, to me, uh, they don't scratch as easy as DVDs, and my DVDs that I've had, I've got multiple scratches, so I picked it up on Blu-ray, long-lasting Christmas story. I don't need to tell you no more. If you don't have it, get it. There you go. 
and then this one kind of goes along with this is a guilty pleasure for me in Christmas time as well and I've had this one before was trying to get it on blu-ray but didn't have it it's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, it's Jingle All the Way with Sinbad I love this film just such a classic the reason I picked this up if you see that price three dollars and ninety nine cent fans come on dude you can't go no better it's a real thin case too this is weird it's a digital copy uh, I will be getting this one on Blu-ray when I find it, but I did pick it up on DVD just because, you know, that's the way I am. But anyways, it's Jingle All The Way. Watch it every Christmas, man. I love it. Getting back onto the horror side, let's look at a Clive Barker. Um, I know there's issues with this film, but it's Midnight Meat Train. Uh, some of the issues we've had, and even Dr. Shock, who's on my Land of the Creeps, had talked about some of the CGI blood effects in here are lacking, but this is definitely one of the goriest movies I've seen in the last few years. Uh, pretty good story plot. Uh, the ending gets kind of hokey and weird, but um, you can see some of the blood right here if you can see it real good without the glare going on. But anyways, Midnight Meat Train is, to me, a, an entertaining film. Will I watch it every year? No, but you know, every few years I'll pop it in. But, I mean, this thing was only a couple dollars on Blu-ray use, so I picked it up can't wait to watch it again it's been a few years but uh basically the guy that you're seeing on the cover right here um there's an individual who's taken he's a photographer so he photo uh, photographs like the city and different things but he happens to start noticing something on this train and some weird things going on and it's a good watch fans i definitely highly recommend it so there you go Moving on, some of these are ones that I get like two for three dollars or whatever. So, some of these I've not watched yet, but picked them up cheap. Uh, one in particular is this one right here called Boo. <laughs> it says, What are you afraid of? Boo. So, you gotta like that. Don't know nothing about this flick except that I want to see it because it was cheap. And I can't wait to see it. So if you've watched it, let me know before I watch it if I should even watch it. But it was super, super cheap. And uh, it says it was directed by Michael Lansu. So I don't know much about it. It was released. Uh, let's see who it was released by. I don't even know who the crap that is. But anyways, uh, New Teach. N-U-T-E-C-H-D-V-D dot com. So there you go. But it's a movie called Booze, so I got it cheap. Let me know, fans. Down below, comment if you've watched it. If it's worth watching, check it out. All right, moving on, another cheap one I got. And the only reason I got this one is because Robert England is somewhere in this flick, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger. But it's Robin Cook's Mortal Fear. And I uh, picked this one up really dirt cheap, too. Sorry about the glare here, fans. But, uh... You can check that out. Stars Joanna Kearns and Gregory Harrison. And Joanna Kearns, I was looking at, and I cannot remember the show if it was maybe Family Ties, Full House. It wasn't Full House. One of them TV shows. I'll get you a good close-up of her, hopefully, here. Uh, main actress there. I recognized her, but it's called uh, Mortal Fear, and it basically says the tightly crafted medical thriller based on the provocative international bestseller by Robin Cook is set in a large urban hospital where suddenly with no warning, healthy patients are mysteriously dying. So there you go. It's Robin Cook's uh, Mortal Fear. Robert England is in it, so it's got to be okay. And it's also got Tobin Bell, the main guy from Saul, the killer. So, you know, check it out. I got it for like $1.50, I think it was. I can tell you. Uh, actually, $1.99, so <laughs> I'll pick it up. But it's Mortal Fear on DVD. Uh, another one, I just bought this one because of the cover art. I'll be honest with you fans, don't know nothing about it. But this was called Tales of Voodoo. And uh, the voodoo that we all do so well. <laughs> but this one's uh, Volume 1. It's called Two Bloke uh, Blood Soaked DVD Features Hellhole. Plus, she's got a thing for the Jungle Virgin Force. Um, cool little back. It says, join now America's only monster fan club. I don't know how old that is, but... Uh, cool cover art and back art on it but anyways it says uh, jungle virgin force deep in the heart of the jungle the beast has a hunger for human flesh uh, the jungle virgin force will eat your heart out literally and then the second feature is called hell hole hell is on earth as the female captives find out in hell hole but vengeance shall be theirs 
Don't know nothing about it, but I will be checking it out. If nothing else, it'll look really cool with my DVDs because of the cover art. Check it out if you can find it. I picked that one up dirt cheap too. That one was $2.99. You know, can't beat it. Now this one I'm really excited about. Haven't broke into it yet, but I will be. Uh, Lucio Fulci, who done Zombie and different films. Man, I love them. But this one is called Cat in the Brain. Check that out. Kick ass. This is a grindhouse releasing. Uh, this is actually fans a two disc set. And God, I, I'm sorry about the glare, really. But uh, it's a two disc set. This is supposed to be just such an awesome, gory flick. Um, the second disc edition, you get the high definition uh, restoration, undirect, uncensored director's cut. Uh, you get a never before seen in depth interview with Fulci and star uh, Brett Halsey. You also get Lucio Fulci's heroic appearance at the 1996 Fangoria Weekend of Horrors in New York City. Uh, gallery stills plus other surprises. There again, you're getting the two disc set. Uh, right here, this one did cost me $13, but that's okay. I love Fulci. And uh, this was released by Ryko. So check it out if you can find it, fans. Get your hands on it. It's called Cat in the Brain. Lucio Fulci. Couldn't pass that one up. Now next on my list, and this one is actually uh, in the process of being released really, really soon on Blu-ray. Uh, it's uh, Tony Catan and Todd Allen, but it's Witchboard. And uh, Tony Catan, many of you fans, if you're from the 80s, will recognize her from the White Snake videos. Uh, here I go again and whatnot. But I really love this one. This is uh, Kevin Tanay directed it. Uh, it's a really creepy flick. I've only seen it a few times, and it's this one definitely gets better each time I watch it. And uh, basic story about the Ouija board and uh how that possession comes about and the story around that uh very good film i really enjoyed it something else that i really liked inside too i wanted to show you fans was the inside cover of it uh first of all the disc itself uh is really cool but you also get this mini card inside it's a uh, basically a ouija board with the witch board I thought it was really cool and this pops out and you can have that as your uh, pointer so just a really neat thing that you know I love the movie and I will be buying it on blu-ray when it comes out I can't wait but it's witch board get your hands on it fixing the release on blu-ray another one here I picked up really dirt cheap this is from something weird video release It's called the mad butcher and I uh, got this one really cheap. I have not watched this one yet, but it's supposed to be really graphic. Uh, a lot of nudity in as well, but it says sausage lovers don't see this movie. And uh, another one that just grabbed me because of the artwork on it. And let me try to get you some close-ups here. Uh, there you go. But um, I don't know a lot about this one. Uh, basically through recently released from the Looney Bin, Mad Butcher, Otto Lehman is still seriously unhinged with a healthy appetite for good meat and pretty women Otto resumes his profession as the best butcher in Vienna so there you go uh, says it was directed by written and directed by Dag Mollen and Dick Randall if you've seen this one let me know about it as well uh, artwork inside uh, does have a little naked chick here so don't look at the boo boob shot so I don't get blocked but anyways it's something weird video uh, Mad Butcher I'll be watching this really, really, really soon. And the last one I've got to show you fans is uh, Wes Craven. I would not heard of this one, but this one was a looks like a made-for-TV movie, possibly, but it's called Invitation to Hell. Um, not a bad flick. It, it's okay. It's not one of my favorites by any means. But uh, one thing I noticed right away in this is it's got Robert Ulrich, or Eric, and it's also got, um, what's the chick's name, uh, Susan Lucci. Uh, so there's some definitely soap opera stars and whatnot, which made this, if it was not made for TV, you will think it was made for TV because there's so many TV actors in this. But a uh, basic story plot about this is this uh, Robert plays this guy that works for this company where they're building a, a astronaut suit, some kind of weird astronaut suit. But there's a country club that he moves into the development 
and there's different things there's some weird stuff going on with the uh people that live in the neighborhood and with this country club and susan uh, lucci's character plays the main mistress the main head woman over it and people join this club and then things start to go awry they start changing mentally and whatnot it's kind of a stepford wife type of flick uh, i don't know if you can see the back of it real close but there you go pretty good film to watch uh you know if i rated it it'd get like a six out of ten it was above average it was decent but uh fans that is your uh episode here for my new blu-ray dvd update for november 22nd i want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing uh for sharing the video thank you for that uh be sure to give me a thumbs up on it if you like it comment below uh i will be bringing out that uh collector's episode really soon fans that i've been mentioning on previous episodes but Share it. Let me know what you think. This is Greg Amortis with my Little World of Horror. <laughs>